good morning. It is 8.10. Got up about an hour ago. We are still at the repair shop here in Stewartsville, Minnesota. About 20 miles up the road from uh, from Grand Meadow, the headquarters. Had some thunderstorms roll through very early this morning. And you can see the trees out there blowing in the wind. A Little bit of rocking, lots of noise. It was pretty close to, to here. Yeah, so we are in the little driver's lounge here. Got here just about five something yesterday. Uh, yeah, a little after five o'clock we got here. Doing, you know, trying to track down what's wrong with this fuel system. So it wasn't till about 11 o'clock last night that I actually, we, they let me pull the truck out. I parked it right here on the lot. Now right here at the, uh, at the repair shop dealership. And, you know, just went to sleep, you know, and you know, seven o'clock, bang on the door, you know, hey, we're ready to work on this again. Pull into Bay 8, okay. I said, well, first I need to call, see if they want me to stay here. And, and attend to this or just go back back to HQ. Well, you know, I called in, they said, you know, stay there, get that taken care of, blah, blah, blah. So now we're waiting some more. And so it's been in the uh, bay there for about an hour so far this morning. Last night, I took it on a 100 mile test drive to test out what's going on with it. They took it out as well after that. Uh, so basically I'm just waiting, you know, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. And, you know, and hopefully, you know, by 1030, basically two and a half, two hours from now, they need to have it fixed or I just need to roll out because I have a load waiting for me. But other than that, I need to uh, just sit here and wait. All right. About a couple minutes before 11. Came in and got me, said they did the best they could. They got it within the specs of Peterbilt. I just have to keep an eye on it. You know, I, I don't know what else to do. It's cold. It snowed a little bit earlier. It's windy. It's just three minutes after 11 o'clock now. My satellite radio antenna is broken. Wasn't that way last night, so. Oh. Window still isn't fixed. My headlight still isn't fixed. I don't even know if the if the fuel tank is fixed or not. You know, the fuel system is completely working correctly or not. I don't know. Ah, I tell you. Now I'm heading back south towards headquarters. If I'm picking up a load or not, I don't know. 
Now, so it's already been loaded, being loaded right now with a load, but I don't know. You know, it, it, it's up in the air. It's up in the air. Benefits you to have patience. almost running in the back of me when I'm making a turn. got ourselves a load which I'm taking I'm going down to the Waterloo drop yard and I'm picking up three little skid steer bobcat like things Which isn't a big deal, we're, and we're taking that out to Ohio. So, you know, fairly easy, fairly simple. Bing, bang, boom. Nothing really to uh, be too uh, antsy about. But at the same time, we are taking a, another driver to pick up an abandoned truck. So, Rochester, uh, Indiana, there's a valley truck down there that somebody decided to just, you know, like I said, just abandon. You know, just couldn't have the, uh, the guts to come back and uh, you know say hey I, I just can't do this or I quit or you know whatever you know so just just abandon it you know 
that's not the way I act when I leave a job. You know, I try to leave on good terms. But whatever, you know, that's that's their choice to act in that manner, so there you go. But I'm taking another fellow Valley driver down there tomorrow after after I load in uh, like I said like after I load in Waterloo then we will head down to Rochester Indiana off a of US off a of US 31 and 25 I believe it is I believe I've been there one time prior but like I said we will we'll see exactly what what path we're going to take it's not a permitted load so i don't have to you know really worry too much about the route i take and i think they they, they kind of plan that on, on purpose so there you go the load i was supposed to get this morning didn't quite work out because you know just the amount of time it took to do some repairs but other than that not too uh nothing really too much to worry about all right all right so i'm getting i'm doing a little bit of straightening up here uh I'm going to make a little bit of dinner slash, well, 2.45 in the afternoon. So we're going to make this an early dinner. So I got some a couple potatoes left, which I'm going to dice up and, and kind of pan roast. I have some chicken, which I've done earlier. Now these are three. Each, each little Ziploc bag has three little tiny... You know, uh, chicken thighs in them. So we're gonna fry those up. We're gonna, we're, well, they're already cooked through, but we're gonna put a little more seasoning on them and kind of make a, uh, kind of like a hash type thing. I got some peas and carrots. I would do lima beans, but that was if I was gonna leave everything separate. So now, since I'm gonna do kind of a hash kind of thing, everything just loosely. The peas and carrots will fit a little bit more with that. Put a little bit of spice to it. A little bit of red pepper flakes. A little bit of pepper. Black pepper. And we should be good. We should be good. Alright. So down here I got some dirty dishes. Got a nice sized cutting board. You know, fairly cheap. I, mean, I don't like the paint that's on it, but you know. I'll use this side. But it's a good solid one that one of the little flimsy bamboo ones. But you know, pretty decent size, so we use that to cut cut our uh, food on. So basically I'm just getting everything a little bit more organized. I gotta move the stuff out of the front seat for my uh my uh fellow employee, my fellow driver. And we will, you know, just go from there. I mean, nothing too, uh, too wild. We're just gonna. I mean, today has been a day of just sitting around. It snowed earlier when I was up at Peterbilt this morning. And I've been sitting around here for most of the day. So, like I said, now it's 2:45 in the afternoon, going on three o'clock this afternoon. Now I just gotta wait for my manager to dispatch to my ELD. pretty much figure out where I'm going 
Gonna roll out here around 7 a.m. tomorrow. You know, and basically just have a nice uh, ride down. Someone to talk to today, tomorrow. Getting all my tools ready for my uh, for dinner here. I'm hooked back up to my trailer. They did the repairs on the trail like they needed to. Still waiting for that headlight surround to come in. It's supposed to be down near 30 degrees tonight. So I got the APU going with the heat kicking. So I can be inside with uh, in just shorts. I don't have to be uh, all suited up, but I'm probably put my uh, flannel pajama bottoms on because that's just comfy. Like I said, make a little dinner, do a little straightening up, organizing, neatening. I saw I saw I didn't put my laundry away like I should have done when I when I washed it. So I got a little bit of housekeeping type stuff to do. Nothing too uh, wild. Could make some hot chocolate. That wouldn't go, uh, wouldn't go amiss. I mean, I got the hot chocolate in the truck. I got water. I got the hot pan. I got my kettle. I think I have a mug in here. I believe I have a mug in here, so I can do a little hot chocolate if I wanted to. Yeah, I got hot chocolate over there. I think we might be golden. I think I have some dirty clothes in here I'm going to take out. Yeah, I do. What I really need is a custom laundry, you know, or, you know a custom uh, toiletry bag that fits the things that I want in there the way I want them in there. You know, a specific, you know, holder for my shampoo, my soap, my, you know, you know, the razor, and the, you know, all that jazz. But, we can only do what we can do. Dirty clothes. These five fingers are dirty, so put those in there. Empty bottle, can go up there, or there, whichever. Got a pan for dinner. So I am almost ready to cook some dinner. I need to get these dishes washed. I keep putting them off. And putting them off and putting them off and putting them off and putting them off. But that's that's the thing about being in a truck all the time. I'll get to it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll be in there. Yeah, I'll be in there. Whatever. All right, take a wild guess what's going to happen in this video.
Correct. We are tuning up a, 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 a Kawasaki engine. <laughs> now we're going to make a, a quick dinner here. I mean, it's 3.30. We just make something real, real fast. We got some chicken that was already pre-cooked. Well, I pre-cooked it. Wasn't that pre-cooked from Tyson's or Purdue or anybody. I pre-cooked it. I got a potato about this size diced up got some onion diced and I got some peas and frozen peas and carrots up in the uh, up in the freezer so we're gonna cook that up for dinner we're gonna like I said we're gonna fry up the uh, the potato first then we're gonna throw in a little bit of onion get that nice and soft and whatnot we're gonna cook that in some butter Then I'm gonna throw the chicken on top of that, let that warm through. Last bit, I'm gonna throw the peas and carrots in, heat everything up, mix everything up, make a little bit of a sauce with some uh, some some uh, chicken sock, a little bit of water, and we should be good. So you know, got our butter, got our potatoes in here drying, chicken, onion. Like I said, we got some. Uh, Peas and carrots. A little bit of, little bit of ice on it, but we'll just tap that out the window real quick. And we got some chicken stock. Then we'll have a good old time. It's a cooking. So we're gonna brown that up. Get some nice color. Have it, the potato cook through. They're just about quarter inch, a little over quarter inch size. I left the skin on because I, I happen to like that texture. We got a bit of black pepper in there. Going to put some salt on that in a moment. Cooking in butter. Like I said, then we'll add our diced up chicken or, or, or do our onion first. Then add our chicken. Then our peas and carrots. They'll put a little bit of, you know, like I said, a little bit of a uh, little bullion, little, little chicken stock on there. Let that get all thick and bubbly, make a nice little sauce with it, and that'll be our uh, dinner. All done. And dinner is all done. Not fancy, but there you go. You know what you're doing as usual. Yeah. 